Adam, congratulations. Take a seat. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. How are you feeling? Uh, overwhelmed, to be honest, yeah. It's a bit of a shaky thing, isn't it? You get the yeah. back, but it's all sort of happens. Your speech goes, then you're off, and then you've been asked questions by somebody else. It's like, give me a chance to breathe. <laughs> well, let me do the talking for a bit. You are uh, the creator of Blue Zoo. You started animation, uh, I guess, at a young age. In the 2000s, when you officially started making shows? That's right, yeah. OK, so a university thing. Yeah, so, like, um, there was me and a couple of the guys from the university that um, uh, sort of, like, had a plan to get together to make an animation company. And uh, this is about 10 years ago, and uh, it's kind of all kicked off from there, really. It's, it's a long time, isn't it, 10 years? But it, it must have gone fairly quickly. Are you able to reel off the shows that you've made, the animations? Yeah, well, like, our very first show was kind of Blue Cow, which um, we were given the opportunity to work on. We started off doing, you know, it's like supposed to be nine, nine episodes, and the story makers, as it was, it was kind of one of the shows that was launching when CBBS was first launched. Yeah. And, um, and we, uh, they loved it so much that we had one in every show. Um, that was 65, and then they went on to make three more series. So we did over 200 of these animations. So it was a fantastic right start. It's a, and sort of since then, we went on and we kind of worked closely with Disney and Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. We um, back in back in about 2002, we we helped kind of sort of rebrand the Toon Disney Channel. We've uh, Create, uh, done lo loads of promos and branding things like that for Nickelodeon. So it's been hands on for a long, long time. Really, yeah, I mean, like it started off obviously where, you know, sort of like I'd be sort of animating on the project, all hands on deck, and just as the company's grown and grown, yeah. it's kind of been in much more sort of directorial role. But You strike me as the kind of guy as well that sort of started off as a youngster, was like, that's what I want to do. You know, some people are very driven, they know what they want to do from word go and they follow it. And so it's one of those things where if we get a chance to then pass on that knowledge or experience to people who are watching, would you be able to give tips on how to follow your dreams sort of thing? If, if someone wants to be an animator, for example, yeah. where would you tell them to start? How would they go about doing that? I'd say just to really, just to really look at all the reference, just, uh, just follow your dream, come, you know, sort of come and try and, um, you know, sort of get some work experience with animation companies. Just do whatever you can, find the good course at university. Um, and just really, you know, sort of if your passion is there, just keep following it and, you know, sort of like, you know, the industry does support young talent, which I hope this kind of proves. Yeah, absolutely. The BAFTA there says everything, doesn't it? It says that you've achieved what you wanted to achieve. You know, you've got, I'm sure, plenty more places to visit and, you know, more animations to make. So best of luck for the future. Congratulations once more. Thank you very much. Cheers, Alan.